Hey Summer Brainiacs, welcome back for our eighth and final week of Summer Brain Games. My name is Lauren. And my name is Carla. And it is so hard to believe that our summer science has come to an end. It flew by so quickly. I know, and we had so much fun doing all of our experiments with you. We hope that you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah. Well, don't worry. For today's experiment, we are going to do something that is really, really cool. Literally. That's why we're standing here in Finnegan's Ice Cream Parlor, because we are getting ready to make my favorite part of summer, ice cream. That's right. And so you'll learn the easy ingredients that we need to make our ice cream and find out some cool, quick science about it. Now, as always, you can download all of the instructions at msichicago.org slash summerbrain. All right. So let's get started. So we are going to need today some ice, salt, sugar, and some milk to get started. Now, you might be thinking salt in ice cream. Ew, that's gross. Mm. But it's actually a really critical part of the experiment. You see, water normally melts and freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But when you add salt to it, it mm. lowers that freezing point to negative 22 degrees. That's cold enough to make ice cream. Okay, so that's why the salt water needs to be below negative 22 degrees to freeze. This also explains why in the wintertime, we can use salt on the roads. It just keeps ice from forming. Mm -hmm. So when you add salt into your bag of ice like this, it actually makes the ice colder. Ooh. Don't believe me? Use a thermometer. Test the ice before and after you add the salt and you'll see for yourself. Nice. Now our milk mixture we're going to use today will be composed of milk, sugar, and we'll add in some flavoring. I have vanilla flavoring in there, but my favorite you can add in as well some chocolate syrup, or even some fruit juices. When you have your mixture all ready to go, put it in a small bag like this. Mm. Take the small bag, put it in a large bag filled with the salt and the ice. Ooh. Seal it up so you don't make a big mess in your kitchen, and then start shaking. That's right, so now all of that salt water inside is beginning to cool down the temperature of that milk mixture. So eventually, the milk mixture will begin to freeze a little and turn into ice cream. Now, this is going to take some patience and maybe even a hand towel to keep <laughs> your hand warm because it takes a little while for the ice cream to turn solid, but it is well worth the wait. Yeah, oh. it's totally worth the wait. I've got my own secret stash here, guys. Of course you do. Mm. Oh, that's going to... Mm -mm. Oh, yep. Mm. See? I knew that was going to happen. Watch out for that brain freeze, Brainiacs. Uh, it doesn't feel good at all. Mm -mm. Make sure you let us know how your ice cream turns out, though. We want to know all the creative flavors that you came up with, so post about them on our Facebook page. Or better yet, you can tell us all about it when you join in on our contest for our Summer Brain Games, where you can win a family tech package, including mm -hmm. an iPad, a digital camera, and a notebook. Sounds fancy. It is fancy, because it's science. <laughs> now, we hope that you have enjoyed your Summer Brain Games with us as much as we have. So enjoy the rest of your summer and have a very science-filled school year. Bye, everybody. Bye. Science is cool.